He wooed me with his baritone and velvety voice. He mesmerized me with his cool gait and air of confidence. He'd made me shake with laughter, with his remarkable wit and sense of humor. But most of all, he won me over with his intellect and his dream to live a life of excellence, success, and fulfillment. With his words, he painted for me a future so exciting and glorious that I yielded to him and vowed to him till death do us part. When we are called friends, Komla has so many friends. And it's therefore an honor that we should even be allowed here and to be allowed to speak. I'd like to thank the BBC for assisting with the event today, as well as to our president for the respect that he showed to Komla in visiting his family and also welcoming them in Accra. We all felt Komla was a friend. Whether we knew him well, walked past him on a London street, or simply saw him on a television screen, he was a friend to millions. The BBC is hugely proud of Komla's groundbreaking achievements in presenting a different Africa to the world. And we urge you, beloved, to, ad to admonish the idlers, encourage the faint-hearted, help the weak, be patient with all of them. See that none of you repays evil for evil, but always seek to do good to one another and to all. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, for God is love. God's love was revealed amongst us in this way. God sent his only son into the world so that we might live through him. We give you thanks for our brother Kumla Dumo for the grace and mercy he received from you, for all that was good in his life, for the memories we treasure today, especially his work as a broadcaster, a proclaimer of your message of truth and joy. represented all that is good in Africa. He has opened the doors. And we have to make sure that those doors are never banged closed anymore. He has broken the glass ceiling. He has shown that Africans can be understood and can speak to the world.
Service went very well. I think it did justice to Kamala and his memory. It was marvelous. It was moving. It was deep. It was profoundly what Kumla is all about, and it, I found it deeply, deeply moving. a lot of commitment in his work, dedication, and he's created a very big vacuum, a vacuum which will be difficult to fill. And I'm hoping that a lot of young journalists of African descent, like you, will learn from him. Well, it's quite difficult to find the words, actually, and so many people today have tried to find words to to describe Komla, I can only describe him as a as a kind of shooting star who went through our our newsroom, and as someone who's tried to cover Africa and thought I did it well, I now know that I didn't do half as well as I should have done, and that's because I look at the way Komla did it. He he brought such honesty, but also such uh, joie de vivre to his reporting. Um, so that's him as, as, a, as a professional, as a journalist. But the other side of him that uh, I'll miss is, is somebody who I only really got to know last year. Uh, we spent a lot of time in South Africa together. And uh, what a warm and generous man. And uh, he will be missed, I'll miss him, but most of all I think he'll be missed in, in our newsroom at the BBC uh, as this wonderful, wonderful personality. I think this is a befitting tribute. I mean, we should all do more like Kumla. He was a boss player and uh, he played his part. And a wonderful turnout, don't you think? Oh, absolutely. Must be fitting, and I'm sure it will be going down. We, Kumla and I, and a few others have long cried over the fact that our African heroes don't get the recognition that they want. And we have a mixture of emotions. But I think in an event like today that you've got, I don't know, a couple of thousand people attending, coming from all walks of life, from all parts of the globe, um, was important and I think it was carried out with, with class and uh, with dignity.